In this video, we're going to consider how to find the curl of a vector. And really, it's the same as taking a cross product, except that one of the vectors that we're dealing with is the del operator. And the del operator has this expression, where it's kind of a, a hybrid entity, because we're taking partial derivatives of a scalar with respect to x, y, and z. But for each partial derivative that we take, we multiply it by some unit vector. So it starts off with a scalar quantity, finds derivatives, and then forms a vector with it. This is called a gradient vector. Um, if you go to the website here at digital-university.org, our front page right now is under construction. There's a playlist there for the vector analysis series. And in that playlist, we have other videos now where we deal in more detail with properties of the del operator and also some of the special properties of the gradient vector. But um, for our video where we want to know how to find the curl of a vector, really all we have to be concerned with is setting it up in determinate form as we would for any other um, cross product type of problem, except that when we're taking, finding the curl, we're taking the cross product of a vector with the del operator. So the determinant is set up like this. The very top row are the unit vectors, i, j, k. Then what comes next is the components of the del operator followed by the components of the vector that we're finding the curl of. This right here, this expression is the curl of vector a. So suppose that we're in a vector field where the components of A have kind of a strange expression. The ith component is y to the fourth minus x squared times z squared. And the j component is this. And the kth component is x squared yz with a minus sign. We want to find the curl of this vector A at the point x is 1, y is 3, z is minus 2. Now, the curl of a vector, of course, is a vector because whenever you take a cross product, you're generating another vector. To find the i, j, and kth components of the curl, we have to take this determinant then and expand it out using minors. So we have a, first we set up the determinant where this is AX, this is AY, and this is AZ. And that's what we have right here. These are the unit vectors I, J, and K. Here are the components of the gradient or the del operator. And then here are the components of vector A. Expand it out in minors, and we get this expression. And of course, the way that's done is, for example, the ith component, we cover up the first row and cover up the first column. And then we have this 2 by 2 determinant. Except now, when we um, do the uh, cross products here, it's setting us up for taking partial derivatives because we're dealing with the del operator. So here, this would be taking the partial of this expression with respect to y. Then it would be minus taking the derivative or partial derivative of this expression with respect to z. And that will be the ith component, which we have written out here. And then it's the same deal for the j and the k component. Now, where taking the curl differs from taking the cross product is that here then we have to evaluate these partial differentials so that we can determine what the i and j and k component of the curl vector is. So here, we're taking the partial with respect to z. This is x and this is y, so that will be 0. 
Here we're taking the partial with respect to y, so this would be minus x squared z. So you have minus x squared z. That's the ith component of the curl. And now for the jth component, take the partial of this with respect to z, that's 0, and we will have minus 2x squared z. Then from here, minus, minus, this is a plus now, take the partial with respect to x, we have 2xyz. That's the jth component of the curl. And now here, take the partial of this with respect to x, that is 2x. And here we have partial of this with respect to y, that will be 0. There's a minus sign here, so it'll be minus 4y cubed. And that's the kth component. So this, this plus this plus this, that is then the curl of A, del cross A. Well, let's write it out down here. So we have minus x squared z times i, then we have plus minus 2 x squared z plus 2 x y z. That's the jth component, and plus 2 x minus 4 y cubed. That's the kth component, and we wanted to evaluate that where x is 1, y was 3, and z is negative 2. So let's see what we get. This is 1, z is negative 2, so this will be plus 2 times i. And then here, this is 1, z is negative 2 times negative 2, that's 4. 2 times 1 is 2, times 3 is 6, times minus 2 is minus 12, that's minus 8j. And then x is 1, so that's 2, minus 4 times y cubed. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. Um, this will be 80 plus 28, 108. 2 minus 108, that's minus 106k. So that is then del cross A. when x is 1, y is 3, and z is negative 2. That's all there is to it. So the only difference when we're taking the curl of a vector is that we're going to have to take partial derivatives along the way in order to obtain expressions for the i, j, and k components. Other than that, finding the curl of the vector is exactly identical as to taking its cross product.